In the days leading up to the 2015 Big Game, a Cal alum invited a Stanford grad to lead a discussion on college sports that would go far beyond their football rivalry. Nancy Skinner did not know that Andy Schwartz agreeing to speak at this Oakland Rotary Club luncheon would spark a national insurrection against the NCAA, but she did know that Schwartz, an economist specializing in antitrust, was on her side. I am clear that college athletes should be compensated, Skinner wrote to Schwartz. Schwartz took the stage in downtown Oakland, although, before he could fully thrust into his argument that the NCAA was just a cartel of schools collectively setting the price of athlete labor as the cost of an education, members of the Cal Marching Band appeared in the auditorium and blared Golden Bear battle hymns. But the good-natured interruption did not get the Stanford guy, Schwartz off message. Skinner, a former Berkeley City Councilwoman, was considering a run for state senator in 2016 and felt a familiar outrage against injustice stirring. If I get elected, what can I do to change things? Skinner asked Schwartz afterward. Is this something that states have the ability to do? Almost four years later, on a September night in 2019, the nation watched as Governor Gavin Newsom signed Skinner's historic bill granting California college athletes the right to profit from their name, image and likeness, nil, starting in 2023 on LeBron James' HBO show, The Shop. Newsom and James were joined in the Los Angeles barbershop studio by Compton native and former UCLA basketball star Ed O'Bannon, whose successful antitrust lawsuit against the NCAA in 2014 laid the groundwork for nil legislation, former UCLA gymnast Caitlin Ohashi, whose viral floor routine brought her celebrity that NCAA rules prohibited her from monetizing as a senior in Westwood, and other dignitaries like Glendale native and former UConn basketball star Diana Taurasi. I don't want to say this is checkmate, Newsom said, but this is a major problem for the NCAA. That night, two famous and powerful men, a governor and a basketball playing king, were having a conversation on college athlete rights in a moment made for Hollywood. But Newsom and James were only in the position to posture in front of the cameras because of the decades-long work of lesser-known Californians like Skinner, Schwartz and former UCLA football player turned college athlete advocate Ramogi Huma, each of whom refused to stomach NCAA hypocrisy and studied how to best move the chess pieces across the board. Everything happened in California, O'Bannon said. From LA to the Bay, there was a number of people. I don't think we would be here if it wasn't for California.